We'll be right back. Kimberly Condor Oliver in Boise, Idaho asked, what causes gout and how can it be treated? Gout is an inflammatory joint disease and a form of arthritis. Gout, which occurs in about 5% of people with arthritis, results from the buildup of uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is a result of the breakdown of waste substances called purines in the body. Usually it is dissolved in the blood, processed by the kidneys, and passed out of the body in the urine. But in some people, there is an excess amount of uric acid, too much for the kidneys to eliminate quickly. When there's too much uric acid in the blood, it crystallizes and collects in, in joint spaces, causing gout. Common risk factors for gout are being overweight. Excessive eating steps up the production of uric acid. Eating too many foods with purines, such as organ meats, you know, which are the liver, kidney, brains, and also sweet breads. You have sardines, anchovies, meat extracts, dried peas, lentils, and legumes. All of these are high in the purines. You can also have an enzyme defect that prevents a breakdown of uric acid, so that's also a common reason. And also heavy alcohol use, and you have exposure to environmental lead. Using certain medications, which include then the diuretics and salicylates, and also levodopa. Or taking niacin can actually increase your risk of gout. So something that has helped a lot of people with the symptoms of gout is organic apple cider vinegar with what's called the mother. And when you go to a health food store and you ask for the mother, you know, then <laughs> they would know what you mean. Uh, also baking soda, honey, dried cherry capsules, and also alfalfa caps capsules. And what I would do is, is place three teaspoons of vinegar into eight ounces glass of water with about a teaspoon of, of baking soda. And you can then put actually some honey in your mouth, you know, to make it easier to drink because it doesn't taste that good. And then you swallow the concoction along with the three capsule of both the dry cherries and the alfalfa. And that has helped a lot of people that while they've been dealing with gout.